Alibaba failed to meet market expectations with its second quarterly earnings after its record-breaking IPO last year. But were the results really that bad? Alibaba didn't, didn't disappoint that much. There was a small percentage uh, of the estimates on revenue, but revenue still grew by 40% year in year. And more important, I think, long term, the mobile revenue growth was up 450% year in year, and that's really the future. So I think when the dust settles and investors have sort of uh, swallowed this small disappointment, I think they will look towards the future and the long-term growth potentials of Alibaba. And I think that's still enormous. With rapidly growing China as its home market, Alibaba is set for success. They have a strong business model where it's uh, very light on, on capital use. So when we discussed this when they, went, when they did the IPO where Amazon have to have these fulfillment centers, they have to buy the inventory and then they have to sell it to, to customers. Alibaba simply just facilitates buyers and sellers and they don't have a much capital invested. And that makes uh, the business model much more attractive because they can have higher returns, higher margins and ultimately also higher growth than, uh, than Amazon. And that's also what you're seeing in the numbers. In terms of valuation, I will also say that Alibaba it is pretty aggressively priced. When you look at all the companies in the world with, uh, with market cap above 100 billion US dollars, there's 78 of those. Alibaba is clearly one of the most pricey stocks in that category. And for obvious reasons, because it's also have one of the highest growth rates and the biggest potential, because as I said, China is still only in the early innings of, uh, of this transformation to be in consumer, uh, consumer society. So could the results be an opportunity for long-term buyers? I think it's uh, definitely a long-term buying opportunity for Alibaba and uh, I think what you, don't, when, what you have to understand about Alibaba is the compounding effect. It's, it's exactly the same as with, with, uh, with Facebook and LinkedIn. People keep, kept on saying years ago, it's over expensive, you're paying too much for growth, but when you're compounding your profits and revenue by 40% a year, it really adds up very quickly and makes the uh, high valuation in the previous years look not so bad. Uh, when you come into the future. So I think that will be the case for Alibaba as well.